Welcome to today's video, but before we get started on this last video we did, I only asked you to get 15,000 likes, but you guys did over 20,000 likes. Peyton, did you hear that? Over 20,000 likes. Let's see if you guys can do 25,000 likes. I think they can. Like this video and let's get today's video started. Labor and delivery, please. Labor and delivery, this is Christine. Hi, I actually just have a couple questions. I didn't know if you were the right person to talk to. Um, I'm due in like three weeks. I was supposed to come to that hospital. So I just had a few questions regarding all the changes that are happening. Sure, I can try to answer them for you. Okay. Um, I was wondering about immediate family being able to be at the hospital with me when I go into labor. Okay, so at this time, um, you're allowed one support person. So if that's your, um, your significant other or a family member, it's only one person. Okay, and it just has to be that same person that comes right from the beginning? Um, yes. Okay. If I have like my spouse with me, are they able to stay the night with me at the hospital or is it just like during visiting hours? Oh no, they can stay with you. Okay. Yeah. I don't anticipate things changing within a two to three weeks. It's probably gonna be the same. Okay, perfect. What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. As you just heard, we had a phone conversation with the hospital. Um, we've been actually going back and forth with what to do and we decided well, today that we need to call. Well, because of my last doctor's appointment, I think they said it kind of just depend on the hospital that you're visiting or yeah. that you're planning on delivering at because each hospital might have a little bit of a different protocol. So I... If you guys of, haven't seen that video, definitely watch it, it's in the iCard. Um, but like Natalia said, she came out of the, the doctor's office yeah, and they told, told us the us news and we had no idea. Possibly that no one would be able to go with me and I'd have to go by myself and so that made me feel a little bit anxious. When Natalia told us that news, we filmed it and you guys can definitely watch the video and see the kid's reaction. But when we turned the camera off, Liv got heartbroken, like she was more heartbroken than Peyton and it like broke us down because it was like a reality that they obviously really, really want to, to be in the hospital and they want to see their baby brother like the very first thing. And I'm like getting emotional thinking about it because it was really sad. It was really sad. Natalia did tell Peyton and Liv that they would be the very first people that got to meet baby brother and that cheered them up a little bit, but it's definitely sad knowing that. But they were like, you know, once he's come. born, if I'm in the hospital, you're in there for, you know, a couple days in recovery and whatever. So, and kids are not, like she said, not on there, kids are not allowed in the hospital right now. And I know it's for safety and so I appreciate that and it's good and I wouldn't want them. But it's just a bummer you know, because but, everything's changing yeah, in this time of, frame and this is not what we expected, so. So that we, was, sorry, what did you say? Oh, you oh, so I was gonna say, so we kind of were trying to just see, like I wanted to make that phone call and then I wanted to kind of talk about any other options that I might possibly have at this point yeah. and plan ahead for that. So something I have thought about a little bit is home birth and having the baby here at the house so yeah, that, I could have, you know, Jeff here, but also like my mom and the girls will be here. Which I've joked about it. I've joked about home birth because, you know, it's something that we've never thought about doing. And we've had friends that have done it and it's a very common, normal thing to do. It just wasn't in our plan. It's not something that we've ever But it could be in our plan too. now that all this is happening because if, think about it, if we did home birth, we could have the kids be there you would be at home obviously and so you would recover at home there's just a lot that goes into it um yeah, but there's so a lot of benefits point, i don't know point. i don't know 
if there's even enough time to really plan for that. So I actually reached out to my cousin who is a doula and I just asked her like, hey, if I have some questions about like what this looks like, like, so she said I could call her anytime. So I'm probably gonna call her today and just kind of ask her questions on like planning that and how advanced you need to know and who has to be here and all of that kind of thing to see if it's even an option. Molly looking in here like, what are they doing? That's right, you guys. We have a TikTok. We're bored in the house. We're quarantined in here. So we decided why not actually get on TikTok, have some fun, and we are having fun. <laughs> so make sure you guys go show us love. Liv, do you remember what our, our username is? Um. The underscore Johnson fam. There it is, the underscore Johnson fam. Also leave a link in the um, description down there so you guys can actually go and click it. But if you guys are on TikTok, it's a hilarious app and we just got on it. So go show us some love, follow us and give us some suggestions. You guys can actually comment on there. So that's kind of cool. So comment, drop a like, I think you can do. I think you can do all the fun stuff. So we're gonna do some fun challenges since we're stuck inside the house, right? Yeah, so this one challenge we had to go like this. Yeah, we showed them, they saw it. We actually just had a phone call, girls, before you guys came in, you guys were outside. We had a phone call with the hospital and mom and dad got to do some actual talking to a person rather than not knowing what's going on. And mom wanted to update you guys a little bit on what's gonna happen or what we're thinking, because we don't really know yet, but. Yeah, so at the hospital, they said that just one person can go with me, so dad can go with me. Which is to good. the hospital. <laughs> Um, and then we go home and then you can. Or see. the second option when, is what, when child? When can come. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is true. You could be my support, but I think that might be But they're kids, so they can't be kids. Uh, yeah, What's option kids. two? Option two is having the baby here at the house, but I'm not quite sure how that would look or details of that yet. So I want to do still, that. You want to do that? You want to do that. I'm a little unsure. <laughs> okay, you guys, we're going to head upstairs right now. We're going to show you guys what it would look like if we actually decided to have a home birth and where we would actually do it. Um, let's go. Okay, are you guys ready to see what it would look like if we ended up having baby here at the house? Yes. yes. Let's head into the home hospital. Come on into the, the hospital, home guys. Come on, come on into the hospital. hospital. Mom's just right in there. She's right in there. She's having the baby. Come on, guys. Come on, she's right in here. Come on, let's go. Come on. She's just about to have the baby, you guys. I hope you guys are ready for Natalia. She's in the um, home birthing water station right now. Let's go check in. How you doing? How you doing, babe? This is not how I will be looking <laughs> in real life, in real time. I think this is how I will probably be looking right here. Like, I probably will have a mask on, uh, whether we're at home or... Well, it feels comfortable right now because I'm like surrounded by pillows, but if there was actually water in here, I would have to just be like sitting on the hard... <laughs> this is probably the only location that we could do because the tub is the actual biggest tub that would fit Natalia. If you guys can see, full, full... Natalia, yeah, it actually full body does, fit it there. fits pretty good. Like we have a really huge tub of tub. Oh look, you can have visitors down. too. You can have two little visitors in there I'll with you like hanging this. out. Maybe I'll just be like this. This is an option. We could do this. You never know. Oh, the <laughs> <laughs> here's baby brother. Oh, he's so cute. We don't even have a name for him yet. What are we doing? We don't have a name yet. Baby brother. Baby boy. Let's just call him baby brother. Smell him. Oh, what do they think? Do they think they smell good? It oh, smells cool. kind of like flowers, I'm pretty flowers. sure. Flowers. Yes. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. Make sure you guys give this video a like. I'm pretty sure the girls are asking for 20,000? 20, 25,000. 25,000. So if you guys made it this far in the video and you haven't liked this video already, make sure you guys drop it a like. Don't forget to go follow us on TikTok. You guys can follow myself as at Jefferson Music. You guys can follow Live and Pay. We'll put them all there on the screen and in the links below. But make sure you definitely go and follow our family channel one, the underscore Johnson fam. <laughs>
I gotta get these ones some things to do, you guys. Quarantine life is calling. We gotta get some more activities, some more fun stuff. So make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't. We are just about ready to have baby boys, so that's gonna be crazy. Like tomorrow. Like tomorrow. All right, Tao. You ready? Yes. 